Hey you guys on this lovely Tuesday. So I wanted to come and share something that had dropped in my spirit. Um, what God was telling me. Um, so I'm going to share with y'all. And God clearly said, don't be scared of the type of provision that he's going to send you um, to get what you have been asking for. Because some things, you know, is just not going to fall out the sky. God is going to give you provision. He's going to give you instructions on how to get the things that you are asking him for. And God is saying, don't be scared of the provisions that he's about to give you. It might appear to be out of the norm, something that's out of your comfort zone, something that you have never did before. But God is saying, do not be scared of the provisions. Um, you know that it's him to go ahead and do it. Um, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, only love peace and of sound mind so don't be scared of these provisions that he's about to give you um he reminded me of peter right when he sent peter um to go catch a fish and to get the fish to and to pull out the fish and the fish had a coin in his mouth that was enough for to pay jesus taxes and peter taxes so god is going to give you provision on how to do it. it might not seem like i said the norm because who do any of us know, or when we go fishing, are able to go get a fish and pull out a fish with coins in his mouth or with a money in his mouth? That's not the norm. So God might tell you to do something that's out of your norm, out of your comfort zone. And it's him, especially if it's been you've been fasting, you've been praying, and it's him. And then stop to giving God excuses on why you can't do what he's telling you to do. Um with me i was like god if you want me to do this like asking god for i was asking god for confirmations but i was really fearful because i something that i never did before and god is saying don't be scared of the provision that he is about to give you in this season in this hour to get where you've been praying and asking god for so he can release it to you like i said some things we have to do, we have to be obedient to receive. Some things God give us divine instructions to do that is out of our norm. And a lot of these things, it might be something that you have to do by yourself. It's just going to be you and God doing it. And it might seem crazy to other people. Um, but God is saying to trust him. Do not be scared of this provision that he's about to send you. Move in silence too. If he's not sending a divine uh divine destiny helper to help you move in silence don't say nothing because other people will speak fear into you they will project their fear onto you and god is wanting you to move in silence silence in this season is going to be your biggest flex the devil can't attack something that he don't know so move in silence when god is giving you these divine instructions these divine provisions okay because everybody is not going to be able to understand it because what god has for you is for you um god talks to you in different ways he's not gonna talk to everybody in the same way so what he's telling you to do be obedient and do it but like i said if he's not sending you any destiny helpers to help you in this season in this hour to move in silence i don't care who it is i don't care if it's your mama your daddy your brother they don't need to know if god has not released you to tell them they don't need to know move in silence do what god is telling you to do and it will make your transition and it will make you be it will make your process easier i'm telling you um because like I said, everybody don't understand. Everybody's not going to be able to understand in this season. And a lot of people are living their life in fear. And God didn't call, call his children to live in fear. Um, we're going to be doing some things that's out of the norm. But God's going to make provision. Just be obedient. And like I said again, I'm just coming to share. Do not, you guys, in this season, God is saying, do not be scared of the provision that he's about to send you. Just go and move. Whenever he tells you to move, he told me, reminded me just now, be like Nike, just do it. I know it might seem strange, but be like Nike, just do it, okay? All right, you guys, I just wanted to come and share what God has dropped in my spirit. Um, I love you all, and I will be chatting with you all later.